welcome to another episode of the drama Surgery podcast in this episode i am going to be covering the korean drama the judge from hell as of the time of this recording six of the 14 episodes have already aired and i have watched about four episodes if you know anything about me you know that i am a huge fan of park Shin-hye, um where everybody kind of criticizes her acting and everything over the years i just like her she was the very first Korean actress I ever like saw um, because she was in the very first Korean drama I ever watched. My very first drama being Flower Boy Next Door. So she was a like dear place in my heart. Um, I remember I watched this drama in 2013 and since then I have been a huge fan of Korean drama. And while a lot of people have criticized her acting over the years, um, her kissings over the years, she can basically do no wrong. She has a specific kind of script that she always chooses and I am fine with that. Some people just are comfortable doing a certain thing and I want you to be comfortable acting um, in whatever makes you comfortable, right? And so I've never been one to really criticize her acting in that sense. I've always felt that it was good enough for me. Um, But a lot of people I know have an issue, especially with like (laughs) accusations. The one that comes to mind for a lot of people or the one that a lot of people mention is the airs where she's with Imino, um, I think was on the rooftop and the kissing was abysmal. I agree. But honestly, I would like to believe it's not her fault. <laughs> That's how the directors wanted it. Um, and so you always hear me defend her. <laughs> That's the moral of the story. Um, so yeah, she is the main lead cast in this. And for those who don't, she was recently married and just had a kid and everything. And I remember when that came out, I was like, oh my God, I guess I am getting older. Because <laughs> she's like a baby to me. And so when I heard like Faction is getting married and everything, I was like, oh yeah, I am I'm getting up there in age. <laughs> but I digress. This drama, The Judge from L, is a comeback um, after, you know, a childbirth and everything. And it's vastly different from anything she's ever done, I would say. A character in this, Kang Bitna, is an early judge, um, beautiful judge, but she's actually a demon, right? And her goal as a demon um, is to kill evil people that have caused the death of others and, you know, are not guilty about it. So she's a very, like, interesting kind of person. She's a very, like, unfeeling kind of person. Um, and in this case, Kang Bitna and the demon are actually two different people. Um, Kang Bitna is mistakenly sent to hell. And just sister, the demon, <laughs> makes a mistake in her judgment that gets her sent to the real world as punishment, right? Um, and so basically, Pakshina's character is playing two different people, kind of. Um, and so she has to act like a demon um, that's, you know, inhabiting this, like, actually make scared of our own shadow kind of judge and i find that very interesting so far i will say that this is very well done um i really like the fact that the demon is actually a demon she is genuinely just a terrible person the only thing i'll say that pisses me off about her is that she's kind of not very smart like she doesn't do a due diligence right like she has somebody does something wrong and she immediately like goes for the knife to like <laughs> to kill the person right she never really thinks she never really investigates in that sense she's kind of like she jumps the gun which is kind of what got her in this mess um of having to like go to the human world and you know kill people for hell right so that's my only like issue with her that like yeah she's a badass but she's kind of a stupid badass (laughs) right and i wish they had written her character just to be a bit more like cunning like this this demon is not cunning she's just like there to kill people and she doesn't really think deeply about anything um and i mean this is something i think will change with time i think this is where the character development will come in and i hope that this is where the character development comes in right because i would hate for the character development to be that she suddenly becomes like a good person now i want her to still be the devil i want her to still be killing people right i just want her to like think a little bit more and kind of like try and realize that there's obviously a bigger conspiracy you know about like everything that's going on around her and Kang Mitna and why you know she was killed in the first place and just be a little bit more on guard right I feel like she's not on guard because maybe she can't die she's already dead um but I just I would like a character to come to maybe even care about Kang Bitna, right but the way this is going and from what I've heard about what other people are saying it seems like the male lead 
is trying to get out to like not be a D1, which is very annoying. I hate when they do this. Like they give you a good premise, give you a character and like they try and change the character to be a good person. And I'm like, but you can have like a character just be a terrible person. Like this is not like Chinese media where there's censorship. Like your character can just like be a terrible person true and true. And like there is no rhyme or reason for why there is no retribution. They do not like get karma, right? That's kind of what I am hoping for this. I hope that it's not like they turn around and make us start feeling stuff and being a good person. I would really, really dislike that. Like, <laughs> and at that point, I feel like even though I like like the actor that's playing the male lead, um, I think he's kind of pointless <laughs> in this story. I would have just liked it to be like almost a procedural kind of drama where like every episode, um, Justissa is like going about. <laughs> killing people that are doing terrible stuff right kind of the way like juvenile justice is where like every episode is a different like villain um i don't need this like overarching point of like trying to fix her he's like this i can fix her kind of person and i'm like that's really not necessary my girl is bad like let her be a bad person right um and i think i would drop this if that's where this drama goes because it makes no sense like this lady is supposed to be a demon why are you trying to like undemonize her <laughs> right so yeah that's um the only thing i am scared is gonna happen uh but otherwise it's going well so far Pakshina is so different in this and she's acting her butt off and for me it's just very fun to watch her in such a different role i really really like it um uh, one of my favorite parts i would say is how she gets her revenge against these people right when she finally takes revenge against the man in like episode one and two right (laughs) i like the way she like made him go through exactly what the girl had gone through right um it was almost like she was showing him exactly like how he felt (laughs) my favorite scene was that moment where like um you know she's acting like the crazy crazy girlfriend and everything that won't leave this guy alone like a stalker right and at some point like i guess the guy calls the cops on her and you see her in handcuffs walking like with the like cops and she's like i'll be back right that whole moment um was just so funny to me um and i just loved it that was like i was like yeah this is a queen <laughs> like so i like the way she taught us people it's very well done right and it's kind of satisfying for us the viewers watching this that's why when we've seen like the victim go through so much to you know see them actually (laughs) feel the exact way that like their victims felt is amazing um i would like to believe that in this like fake world that she's created for them to suffer it's like actually long like i see if the real world is going by like regular time but like in this world it's extra slow like real world like one minute is like one hour in that world kind of thing so i i really like to believe that <laughs> this is something that like it's days and months <laughs> that they are thinking that they are actually being like um victimized by this like demon right because that will make it so much better and their trauma is so much more interesting i even think it would be a good idea if after like she's traumatized them to this point they just go to jail and it'll be funny because i swear a lot of them will like end up in a mental institution because they will be so scarred from what she's done to them um but yeah i i just like that like whole sequence of how she like makes them pay it's not just like a one-off death like she actually makes them suffer first um as of now because of how this drama is set i feel like there's no stakes in that like she is this demon and so there's really nothing that can really affect her kang mitna for example has his ex-boyfriend um and or ex-fiance and his construction company you can tell like they obviously had something to do with her death most likely but because justice is the one in this body i feel like there's really nothing that will happen to her and so in terms of stakes i do feel like there's not enough but one thing i would like to see is maybe like the people that she sends to hell <laughs> maybe somehow people can leave and like come back and like attack her or something that would be a good like plot um right there right um and i feel like it will raise the stakes in that sense um but maybe i'm overthinking this but i just i wish this would be longer 14 episodes i feel like they could have made it 16 episodes and it would have been fine um but i had like the korean 
drama industry is not what it used to be <laughs> so dramas are shorter now um and cost a lot more but yeah that's all i have to say this has been my first impressions of the drama the judge from hell i think it's good it's kind of campy um and i think you should just like watch it with no like real expectations although i feel like it means expectations in a lot of ways but i feel like you can just watch it and it's just like it's very funny it's very like interesting um and just fun to watch so yeah i really really like it and yeah that's all i have for this episode um thank you guys so much for listening i hope you guys have a lovely day bye